We're Pete and Caitlin LeMaster, a.k.a. the Traveling LeMasters. Our passion since getting married has been travel and adventure. But now, we're taking on a whole new type of adventure. We recently bought a house in the Lower Lawrenceville neighborhood of Pittsburgh. The house is in need of some major renovations. But has some amazing potential. It's going to be a lot of hard work. But it's going to be a ton of fun, too. So follow along. As we get to work on Fixing, fixing the Perfect Burger. burger. Take one. Fixing the perfect burger. Awkward. That was so okay. awkward. So, we got a house. Yes. We decided in January that we were going to, when our lease was up on our current apartment, look for a house. And uh, we fell in love with the Lawrenceville area of Pittsburgh when we were looking around. Just with the location we wanted compared to work and all the things we like to do. Um, we finally narrowed in on Lawrenceville being kind of the perfect area for us, but before then we had looked all over. So there are a lot of houses that are unlivable. unlivable. One of the most difficult things to find was a project house where we could do some work and turn it into the house we wanted and also immediately live in it. Yes. So since we've gotten the keys, we started with the third floor and that weekend we had a bunch of friends come over and we demoed the entire place. And our game plan was just to clean that out as much as possible. Three, two, one. Oh. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> If Pete dies while renovating this house, Worth it. I would just like everybody to know, it was fun being married to him while it lasted. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> All right. This is uh, a project on this level is something we might do once in our lives. <laughs> so we want to document everything. That's why we've got our cameras out. That's why we're filming. And it's just really cool to see what's underneath all this. There's a lot of sides to the house you never get to see. We're really excited to document everything. Seeing the progress along the way really helps you keep in mind the end goal and just how much work you've put in day after day. So yeah. to keep our spirits up and just enjoy the process and share yeah. it with anybody who's interested. <laughs> we love HGTV. Shout out to Fixer Upper because I think that's inspired a lot of taking on this project. Yeah, I think we're not the only people that have binge watched an entire season of Fixer Upper on a Saturday morning. <laughs> we might be the only people crazy enough to see that show and think we could probably do that mm -hmm. and go out and get one. Um, we probably are gonna run into quite a bit more work. We <laughs> have already found that without Chip and Joe doing the demo and design, uh, <laughs> it takes a bit longer than 45 minutes. <laughs> Obviously, the real thing is pretty different from TV. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot dirtier. Uh, yeah. I mean, if uh, you guys want to send this to Chip and Joe and let them know that uh, we're their number one fans, that would help. Our, our game plan, the house is a three-level 
uh, brick row house. Row house. Um, it's it's like a townhome, and the top two floors were in the most need of immediate renovations. Mm -hmm. So we'll actually be moving into the ground floor and doing our best to live in somewhat cramped quarters uh, <laughs> while we renovate the top two. And then once we get them complete, we'll be moving upstairs and tackling this floor. If you're wondering. Hmm. Man, it's a good thing we're redoing this entire house. when they swoop in every time I <laughs> yeah it's like <that's> <laughs> freaking deathy <laughs> what, what I thought was lame is in seven we saw that the good wizards could do that too but with white light but they don't use it until seven like they had the power all along it's like they don't mention apparating until episode four. You it's like, like what? why were we flying brooms everywhere? Yeah. You just teleport is ridiculous. That's cheesy. <laughs> On to the second floor. We spent that first weekend and the week after demolishing and cleaning, and it got to the second weekend. We had uh, friends help again, mm -hmm. and we got to work demolishing the second floor. Yep, yeah, that was a lot of work. It was just a lot more space yeah. and an extra ceiling. Meaning they took the existing ceiling and just lowered it by Two feet? six inches a foot. Took away a ton of the height in the rooms, and getting that off has made every room feel more open. Currently, the way that it's set up, when you walk out of the stairs, you're in this super large hallway that I guess used to be a bedroom at one point. Um, but right now it's just this really wide hallway. And then to your left, you have the original master bedroom and with our original fireplace in it, that's beautiful. And then the awkward hallway has our original fireplace. And then there's this office room with a weird bathroom that's kind of in the middle. So you don't have a lot of space for either of them. We're going to reconfigure the whole floor. Yeah, eventually There's reconfigure the whole yeah. floor. I mean, we're going to we're going to move the location of the full bath that's on that floor. We're going to try to make the office space um, back into a true a, bedroom. a true bedroom. And then the entire master bedroom, while it was in okay condition, it needed to be modernized and brought up to code and it yeah. has no closets, which Right, no closets. The outlets aren't Correct and, um, and we had to take the rest of the floor down to the studs anyways, so we did great. it with that room. Demo day, Grant. <laughs> oh, that was so first, dude.
about the house. They're not exactly sure the exact year it was built, but they think somewhere around 1915. Yeah. So around said, World War One. They said 1912, crazy. 1915, 1920, somewhere in that time frame. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we found little things, little um, pieces of the past basically underneath yeah. the carpet or um, there's a little cutout area in the floor where the previous owners hid stuff, who knows what. <laughs> uh, we also found some newspaper from the 1940s. Um, so really cool little bits and pieces of the house. Yeah, it was a business section and the stock market crashed that day. Uh, Wait, really? Yeah, oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't read the newspaper. <laughs> I skipped it. Yeah, look at this. New York stock market. Few individual stocks resist market drop. Wow. Yeah. From September 26, 1946. Even though we don't always start a project knowing how to do every step, we finish a project knowing how to do it. Right. Um, We're trying to do as much as possible ourselves, but if we have to, that's when we call in a professional to um, help us out or finish the project for us because we just. Our main goal is we want to do it correctly. So whenever we're done living here, the next owner can just love the place. <laughs> yeah, the internet's a great resource. We've learned already how to do a lot of things we didn't know how to do. We're gonna keep learning through the whole process. If you guys liked watching this video and you wanna see more of the story, you wanna see more of the process, um, you can follow our Instagrams, you can follow our Facebook, mm -hmm. and sharing this video, and subscribing on YouTube, liking it on YouTube, leaving a nice comment anywhere. Yeah. Um, it's really nice. We've had tons of people while we're doing this process message us and say it's so cool, that's gonna be so fun, we can't wait to see the finished product. So, we love that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks. <laughs> that was awesome. And right now it's it's looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's not it's not nice. Whoa, that's my house you're talking about. Walk under that arch. <laughs> oh. So the previous owner was about my height. I am about five, three, five, four, and <laughs> Pete's about, how tall are you? You're I'm like six foot five, six five. <laughs> I'm just amazed that camera can see all the way up to six foot five. <laughs> Not six five. Six one, <laughs> in boots. <laughs> when we were house hunting, we... <laughs> <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing such a good job. It's hard. Never what, hide. What, ah, who cares? What was, rubber baby. Buggy rubber bumper. baby buggy bumper. Rubber baby. No, that's not. <laughs> rubber baby buggy bumper. Rubber baby kiki groove. I am the uh, shorter the master brother, and I can't. But not the shortest. That's true. <laughs> Jack's gonna hear that. <laughs>